So, uh, yeah, Kevin, with uh, with what Coach Tomlin said the other day uh, in, in terms of you, you know, not having done anything yet to earn the first team reps and, and things like that, is that just him trying to motivate you to, to work harder and, and kind of be at your best at this time of year? I think it was just a, a, a statement. I just have not legit haven't done anything. There's nothing to look at for my my body at work right now, you know. Like, I, I have not practiced once except for – uh, yesterday was like my first kind of half practice. So, I mean, he, he wasn't lying. I can't lie and say he was lying, but, you know, it, it wasn't like, it's just read differently on Twitter. If you don't get how he says it, he says it, reading it sounds worse than it really is. Burke Pryor. Sorry, I was trying to get back over to unmute myself. Um, when you talk about when he talks about earning everything, how much do you feel like, or how much you feel like the staff is weighing what you were able to do last year and some of those spot starts when you were filling in for injured guys? As it factors into maybe where you fall in the line with the ones or the twos this year, I think they go year by year. It's more one of those things of uh, what have you done for me lately type of thing. You know, I mean, you can't really go off somebody's last year. You got to see what they're doing this year. I still have to prove myself. I'm not a a uh, number one proven guy. So, I mean, I still have to prove myself, you know. Tim Benz. Kevin, what have you been struggling with injury-wise and uh, do you feel behind right now? Do you feel like you can catch up from this point by the time the regular season starts? I missed the first part. What did you say? I said, what have you been struggling with injury-wise specifically and do you feel like you can catch up in time for the regular season to start? Yeah, I feel like I could catch up. Uh, it was a... Uh, ankle injury it just kept lingering and you know it's one of those things where you don't want to go out there and hurt it more it's one of those um if i were to go out there and look bad then it's just gonna mess up my reputation you know in a if i'm if i'm hurt and you put me up against cam it's gonna make me look worse so i, I took as much as i can you know to get back to get right because i i had to get two prp shots and you know i just i really couldn't be back at that time. So I feel like I'll be able to get back in and I'm feeling 100% or close to. Joe Rudder, Trib. Yeah, Kevin, uh, what, what? I'm sorry, I missed the kind of shots you said you got. And, and was there a level of frustration at, at, at the length it took you to get back? Oh, definitely. Um, I, the little PRP shots where, you know, where they take the blood, spin it and put it back in. And, um, you know, the frustration was, me not being able to prove myself um, just off of all the work that I've done in the off season to be hurt and not be able to show my stuff. And then I uh, have to watch my teammates do uh, run drills and the one-on-ones and stuff like that. Like some of my favorite things. Um, and another aspect is just walking around in the locker room, walking around the, the facility, people asking me, um, are you all right? Are you okay? And they're doing that every day. And it gets to the point where you like, do people feel like I'm dragging it on? And it makes me want to come back earlier, even though I know I'm really hurt. So, you know, that's that's one of the frustrating things, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to do it, like you don't want to want to be on it too long, but you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to be smart about it. You don't want to come back uh, injured. Mark Cavalli, The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, I know you got to see this offense a little bit in OTAs, but now you're out there hitting or at least watching a little bit. Uh, what do you like about the Canada's offense when it comes to, you know, the run game? I feel like we can gain more confidence in the plays. Um, the way that we break down plays and the way that we uh, watch film and stuff like that, uh, they simplify it for us enough to where we can come off the ball 100% confident in where we're going and who we're going to. And, you know, the misdirection helps us in all aspects, you know, getting the defense confused before the play starts and us still knowing where we're going confidently. Joe, I'm sorry, did you have a follow-up? Your hand was still up. Rudder? No, no, I... Oh, okay. Nick Faribaugh, um, Pittsburgh Sports Now. Hey, Kevin. You, obviously, you've missed time with that ankle injury you talked about. But what's been the biggest thing that Coach Clem and staff have kind of wanted you to work on, you know, in your game on the offseason? What's the big thing that they've really said, you've got to improve on this on the field? Um, 
nothing. I wouldn't say anything really specific. You know, it just was more all around. Look at your game. I mean, look at your um, your playbook and stuff like that. It wasn't anything too too drastic. Dale Lolly DK. Yeah, Kevin, uh, you, you obviously didn't get a preseason last year. Um, you're going to potentially get one this year. Are you going to treat? Uh, how are you going to step into that game or treat this? game upcoming game are you, do you feel pretty motivated to uh to go out there and give everything your best here yeah i'm i'm any game i play and i'm treated like it's like my personal super bowl you know i want me to i want to win i want to be the reason why we do good you know so i, I want to be the reason we have all the rushing yards so i want to be the reason jeff hawthorne 93 7 Kevin, you guys obviously have missed as a group a lot of snaps. Um, as a first team unit, what can you do to to maybe simulate that or make up for the lost time on the field together? I feel like we get a lot of uh, a lot of help through watching the film, and uh, you know the film it, it really helps us in a way that um, we can mentally just go over where we're going to be at, where the, the defense is going to be at. And then we think about the teams we're going to play, how they play, and then we can assume where, the, where they're going to be on that play. So it, it, it's an easy breakdown of uh, the film, pretty easy. Alan Saunders, Pittsburgh Sports Now. You had a pretty good taste of things last year. Uh, but what were your sort of expectations for yourself coming into this season? Did you have you – know, did, did you want to – Earn that starting role. Is that something that you felt like was something that was within your grasp this offseason? Definitely. Um, it's one of those things that I was really working forward to. We I mean, looking forward to. Um, that's why it was so frustrating to be out uh, day one. You know, that's that's what really made me mad uh, that I got hurt the first day out. Didn't get to prove anything. Like, I, I really felt like I could show them first day that I'm a different, different than I was last year, but, you know, still – still reliable unfortunately this is going to be my last question because he has to get to a meeting jim colony 93.7 hey kevin what kind of a, a relationship have you been able to establish with trey turner and maybe lean on his experience oh definitely he's, he's pretty much like a mentor to me right now and he's from louisiana so we have that in common already you know we have that uh that bond already and he's a cool guy he's not a, a um a guy who's gonna hold anything over you. So he, he's gonna teach you uh, his tricks, his trade, you know, he's gonna teach you, cause he wants everybody to win. So I, I'm really happy that we got him. Really glad that we got him. All right, thank you, Kevin.